this is a matter, I think, uh, challenging the, uh, the rate rates uh, for Centerpoint uh, guest service. And uh, I met with the Centerpoint representatives the other day at my request, really, to talk about uh, bearing the utility lines, and uh, which I will also bring up. But uh, I, as I understand it, and gas may be different than electricity, uh, but uh, the city has original, quote, original jurisdiction over rates, and then uh, the, the utility has a right to appeal to the POS, PUC, and I think the noble hearing, I believe, is held. And uh, our rates, at least for electricity, are, are, are the same as the rates of Galveston and a number of the surrounding areas, and Houston is the only entity that has, a, has original jurisdiction. And I respectfully suggest that the original jurisdiction that we have is kind of a waste of time because if if we lose and we appeal to the PUC, and if they lose, they appeal to the PUC. And uh, the money that's spent for lawyers and expert witnesses and so forth is, I, I presume, recoverable. Uh, maybe it isn't recoverable in, in the race, but I think it's a waste of time anyway since the, the PUC is the final decision maker on rates. Uh, and I would further suggest that the reason for the meeting was to talk about the bearing of utility lines, which is a very complex matter because it involves other utilities and involves a cost recovery and so forth, that we could better spend our money rather than on the utility, uh, on the original jurisdiction, we could better spend it on trying to figure out ways for, for liability and safety and better use of easements, way, ways to to bury the utility lines in the various parts of the city, particularly since we have a street re, uh, replacement program uh, underway under the rebuilt Houston. So, uh, and my feeling is it's such a complex issue that unless we have a task force and some somebody assigned to try to work it out on a project by project basis, not not an overall city basis, that uh, it, you know it's never going to get done. Appreciate it, uh, Councilmember. Obviously. Uh, Council member, district council member, I, I certainly uh, would be supportive of you know the, the utility discussion because I think that it would be beneficial to, in, in the communities to, to bury them. Uh, with that said, obviously we're looking at uh, the rates with this particular item, and as a, being a regulator here at the city, we have to balance the right of the public utility as well as uh, the service to the customers. So I'll let. Uh, Attorney Feldman speak to uh, the legal process and, and going before the Public Utility uh, Commission and how costly that is, or uh, I'll let him lend his expertise to that point. Uh, thank you, uh, Mayor Pro Tem. Uh, the, the city is the uh, regulator, essentially stands as the uh, firewall uh, on behalf of the consumer, attempting to balance the interests of the consumer with the interests of the utility in getting a fair a fair return. If, if the city do, does not uh, institute what we refer to as an inquiry on a proposed rate change, then that, that change is automatically adopted. So the only way that the city can protect the interests of the consumer if it believes that there's an issue as to the propriety of the rate increase is by following this process. Uh, and, and there's only in that case, that the PUC uh, then hears the matter because the utility, not the city, the utility appeals to the PUC. Uh, and yes, the, the, the costs incurred in connection with such a proceeding are recoverable. Uh, I, I don't understand exactly what he said. I, I, I think we're talking about <laughs> an, an immediate implementation of the new rates or permanent implementation of the new rates, I, whatever they may be. I don't think the permanent implementation can be made until the uh, PUC exercises its appellate jurisdiction. So you can stop the rate with, with the proper legislation. You can stop the rates from going into effect until the PUC makes a final decision. I don't think the only way to do it is to have this preliminary hearing with, with, at the city, which I think uh, it may not be a waste of time, but to me it seems a waste of time when the final final decision maker is really the PUC. I, I don't uh, I don't disagree. I thought I was pretty clear, but um, I, I I don't disagree that the um, PUC is the uh, final adjudicator. But if the city doesn't raise the issue in the first place, then there's not going to be any adjudication. The, the city has to institute the inquiry in order for there to be any kind of uh, adjudicatory proceeding of 
substance with respect to the propriety of the rates increase. Uh, but you can raise that without having to hold the local hearing. You can have all the hearings in Austin. So that's enough time. We, we Chair, can I the time to expire? We'll move on to the next council member. Council member Green. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chair. Uh, Mr. Bellman, uh, so are we saying that uh, but for the intervention, for lack of a better word, of the city of Houston on, uh, on the rate, uh, that uh, uh, the PUC will, will uh, summarily set the rates and we will be subject to, uh, and that is the only way uh, for the city to have some sort of voice in the regulation or maybe the negotiation of a rate that is, correct. Uh, is that we have to get involved at this first original step here with, here with the city? That is correct. It, 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 in order to commence the process, the city has to commence the process through the uh, through this type of, of proceeding. We, that is the way the, the law is structured. Um, and you know, I, I understand why uh, Center Point, like any other utility, would prefer that not to happen. But that is the process that we as we are the regulator, and, and we have to commence that process. And the city could not have, are we saying that uh, if the city did not have standing, our, our original jurisdiction, uh, then they wouldn't have standing to intervene on behalf of the citizens in Austin with the PUC? If we waived that, that, that is correct. That we, we, we have, because we have original jurisdiction, we have to commence the process. Thank you. Chair, can I ask Councilor Pink? Thank you. It, it's my understanding that for cities like Galveston, which I believe is in the same rate and has the same rate determination that we do, that the, if Galveston doesn't like a, a by the way, this is not Center Point's idea, this is my idea. Uh, because I think I think there's a possibility we're wasting money at the local level by adjudicating something that's then going to be re-adjudicated in Austin by the PUC. Uh, Galveston can raise a rate issue, and then it's adjudicated directly by the PUC. That is my understanding. And so I, I certainly don't want to take the city's right away to object to a rate, but I'm just saying I don't think we need two proceedings rather than just one because the final determination on any contested matter is going to be made in Austin anyway. I'm just suggesting that we do away with the preliminary hearing in Houston because it will be duplicated in Austin. Uh, I understand, Council Member, but the, the, the local hearing or proceeding, as you referred to it, is, is uh, really more or less uh, pro forma. It's not an extensive matter. It's just a uh, you know, placing the matter on the agenda for the City Council and explaining the, the uh, city's position. It's not a give and take uh, between the parties. So, so there's no hearing at all then? No. And the, the, the hearing takes place before the PUC. Well, as long as there are no expenses involved, then that, that's what my concern is. No, just, just my hourly rate. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't have any uh, other council members in the queue. Just, just to recap briefly, uh, this kind of came about because they are a administrative and regulatory affairs for the city. Uh, reviewed some of the uh, financials and, uh, and determined that they felt that uh, the utility rates paid by our citizens may not be reasonable. And so what they're uh, recommending is that we move forward with a formal gas utility uh, rate inquiry uh, that will be heard by the PUC, the Public Utility Commission, not here locally, but will be uh, heard by PC, and they'll make the final determination. But that's the extent of it, either they'll agree or disagree, and that'll be the conclusion. So, uh, sure, thank you, Councilman. Uh, no further uh, council members in the queue. Uh, we just need a little discussion. Favoring, opposed? No. Item carries, uh, Council Member Brown, voting no.